what's up guys welcome back to my channel and guys the golf is still here the golf is still here waiting and like the videos guys i realize you guys just watching the videos and you're not pressing the like button press the like button let's get on with the video took out all the seats loaded ready to go Man, when these seats put down for a while, now them smell funky. When you lock up the car for so long and old car and all that stuff, funky. Smell funky, man. <laughs> Drop them off real quick. I'm getting some parts, guys. Some parts arriving for the Volvo. I think the timing belt and a few other stuff coming. They're driving in the yard now. What is this? Hola! What's up? What's up? You see, you see a thing pull up? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> Looks like progress. Eh? Looks like progress. Yeah, a progress. This are the, the key the key thing. No, that's the timing belt. Why are you thermostat? Why are you Because we want to change the thermostat. Why? Because the money set them up. Huh? Have, um, Take it out. Cold weather. Mm. Yeah, really? I mean, you can take it out, but I like to just keep it. Okay. You know, right. I like yeah, to keep it. This, this, are, all of these have thermostat, right? Yeah, everything have thermostat. So why not just keep it? Mm, because we used to keep it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Alright, boss. Go go away and think. Do you know my order yesterday? Hmm? I can pull it. I'm going to pull it. And it. Look, I look a shake. Let me show you now. You know, this is rubber. Rubber in your circle. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just saw the other back on it. The crank pulley, so the, the crank pulley, right? And you, yes, buddy, you guys can advise me on the crank pulley. I mean, you know, by, by the looks of it, you know, it, it won't change. I don't want the car to damage any appearance, so I'm definitely going to change that. And it looks like, looks like it, it's done its time. But I saw somebody ask if, if um, like, I'm working on cars for other people. No, it's me, it's just my cars and like my friends, friends and family, you know, not, not. Yeah, I'm not putting on anybody else's um, projects or work or anything like that. Went to the shipping company and I got some stuff. I got this whole washer. So I think it's a plug-in one. Got some other stuff. I think the water pump is here for the for the car. And probably this is it. Let me open it and see. Yeah, water pump with the fittings, gasket. Things and everything. Insulation box, something else. But yeah, looking good. Look a bit different from the one that came out of it. All the fittings and stuff. Yeah, man. The water pump is ready to go. The crank pull is just on there. Yeah, that that little the, the plastic thing that goes on the behind the timing belt that has like the, the timing mark on it and all those stuff. Those things crystallize and they broke. I can see where they use epoxy to try and fix it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get a new one, order a new one. So I have to wait until all those come before I can do anything. I thought I did. So, so these are some, some welding stuff. This is, a, this is the oil filter for it. For it. Bosch oil filter for the car. So this box guys, this box has um something that I'm very excited about. It is not a car, but it has an engine. 
it's for the jet skis. So I'm going to open this and look at this part. Very excited. So this is just a simple power wash that I got. Something small and simple. I can just move around and you know plug in on thing. Right here now. Niceness. Turbine night. Wait, a little too hard. But yeah, guys, this is what I've been waiting for for the jet ski to finish it up. So, some exciting stuff. Very excited about all of that. The seats are being cleaned, the carpet, oh gosh, the dirt that is coming out of the carpet. Um, Bobby came to look at the car and Bobby is very excited to work on it. It's a big project. It's a big project. Yes, as of. Yeah. And it's going to be a bigger project than I expected, but I'm very excited. I'm ready for it. You know, we're going to do a full restoration, guys. And um, we might change up the color a little bit might change the color a little bit so what else i need to do a service on the 190 I need to clean up the black series and need and start driving in that this week we're gonna start driving that this week so very excited about that as well um the glass i haven't changed the windshield as yet as yet but i can see through it so i'm just gonna drive it for now until i get the windshield i'm just waiting on the guys from miracle corporation that's Amsoil guys to let me know when to pick up the, the oil and everything that I need to change the oil in the 190E. Yes, buddy. Door? Yeah. You're not going in this car though, buddy. You want to go in this other one? Yeah. You can go in the smart car. Yeah. Guys, I can't let them loose in the 190E. No, it's too fragile. <laughs> And even the, the black series, I can't let them loose. I can't afford it for them to break anything inside of them. So I'm about to, I'm going to try and get four tires for the Volvo because it's not parked in the ideal place. That's where the wrecker, the truck dropped it off that day and it's not starting. So you can't move. It's not in the ideal place. I would like to have it upstairs here in the garage where it's not hot and sunny and I can turn on this big fan and blow some of the hot breeze. But for now, I just go, go there and work on it like five at five in the evenings or early in the mornings because the sun, boy, sun wicked, sun is wicked, guys. Just got the call to pick up the seats and the carpet for the Volvo. You know, after I pick them up, you know, that's where it ends for the Volvo for now because I have to wait on parts. And, you know, I might not get some parts until the end of the month and stuff like that. So yeah, just gonna pick up the seats. Um, I might do some. I might paint them and see how they look. And yeah, with the machine that I bought, I'm not gonna wash any car, and I'm gonna use it to bid because um, the government. I hear that they can get in trouble if the government see you washing cars using water to wash cars. So I might use use my rainwater tank and wash the car, but. Just in case, if I end, if I have to use the pipe water, I'll just use the use it to bathe. I won't use it to wash the car. All right, so nobody don't come for me for my water. The carpets came out really good, really, really good. But the seats, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I should waste any time and paint them or just, you know, the, drop them off to, to get them wrapped. I think that's the, that's the right way to go, you know, instead of um, painting them. Because um, I realized the one that I painted the other day, I guess the power wash, wash off the paint. So I don't know if. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, this is everything. Carpets. I wash the carpets so much so too so them something here. Come out clean now though. And the rest of the seats. Somebody come in tomorrow to, to fix the radio for me in the black series, so I'm gonna clean it up. Man, taking out the trickle charger. But yo guys, this car is 
extremely filthy because they um look at that because the the glass the back glass um, wasn't going up I didn't get to wash it from them a long time so I'm gonna give it a clean now show our machine in Pull up all of it, pull up the radio, the radio on the floor, pull up everything. I'm gonna remove this. It's like magic. It's clean now. I don't know if I can see the imperfections that I was telling you guys about. You can see it. There you go. See all of these guys. All over the car. The chips. You can see all of the chips now. See that? Even the lip. Chip up guys, chip up. Alright guys, that's it for this vlog. I will see you in the next one. Alright?